Scoot up for a second and let's talk. Yo, DJ, roll that beautiful champagne footage. Welcome to Champagne Secrets, where the bubbles are crisp, the secrets are smoother than silk, and the gossip flows like the finest champagne. Big up yourself, Empress. Glasses up to the streets that never sleep and to the secrets running deep. Let's get it. Champagne secrets. Welcome, bows and beauties, to the chalet located in Champagne City, baby. For some grown discussions and bubbly banter, you already know. Over here, we give classy with a twist, huh? A little clink with chaos and a side of charm. So if you're ready to sip, savor, and spill, then come on in. It's Sunday, baby, so I hope you pause to give God his just due this morning. Even if it's just thanking him for the breath in your body. Thanking him for another opportunity to pursue your purpose and fulfill your destiny. Baby, after all you've been through and you're still here when others didn't make it, that is enough to say thank you. As for what I'm sipping on, you already know. I took some Moet and Chandon. I threw some orange juice in like I tell y'all to do. And I made me a mimosa. <laughs> now, if you're one of our non-alcoholic confidants, then grab you a non-alcoholic bubbly and scoot on up. It's time for our positivity and affirmations. So if you have your glasses filled to the rim, let's go. Raise those glasses high. Hey you, confidant, radiant being that you are, wake up and smell the stardust because today you've been granted another day to paint the picture that is your destiny and oh boy is it going to be a masterpiece. So grab your glitter, your paintbrush, and your favorite colors because today we're adding some serious sparkle to your life. Each new day is a fresh canvas waiting for your unique touch. So let's get to painting. Throw some bold brush strokes of courage and a splash of adventure. And don't forget to sprinkle some self love in there too. Remember, the most beautiful paintings are often the ones with the most vibrant colors and the boldest strokes. Embrace the journey, confidant, for every twist and turn adds depth to your masterpiece. And when you step back and admire your work, you'll see a reflection of your true, authentic self staring back at you, glowing with pride and joy. So let's paint this day with all the love, laughter, and sparkle we can muster, because you, my dear, are a masterpiece in the making. So cheers to you and your future. Confidants, so let's go ahead and pop these bottles and see what secrets come spilling out. <laughs> so 
Today we're spilling all the juicy deets on one of the faves from the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise, Miss Portia Williams, because she no longer going by Guavaria, honey. So now you know her quote unquote love story with Simon Guavaria was like a whirlwind, right? So Simon, who was supposedly all about entrepreneurship and the businessman life, first popped up on Housewives during season 13 when he was still married to Fallon, who also happened to be Portia's friend and co-star. But Portia denies this fact. But let's fast forward to 2021. So just days after Simon and Fallon call it quits, right? Portia dropped a bombshell that she and Simon were engaged after a month of dating. Of course, everyone was raising eyebrows and wondering if there was some overlap between um, Simon and Fallon's relationship and Portia and Simon's relationship. Simon, Portia, and Fallon, they all deny it, but Portia did come out and admit that the situation did not look great from the outside. But hey, love conquers all, right? That's what we tell ourselves. Because a year later, Portia and Simon then tied the knot in not one, but two lavish ceremonies. One was a traditional Nigerian and the other American in Atlanta. Now, here's where it gets a bit sticky. Recent rumors have been swirling around Simon's immigration status. Reports say that in his 42 years in the States, he's overstayed visas, illegally gotten green cards. He's even been rejected for citizenship from the United States. He also re uh, reportedly pled guilty to bank and credit card fraud. So Simon has had a lot going on. But then hold up because the drama doesn't stop there. Just as Portia announced she's coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 16, news broke that Simon has been denied U.S. citizenship due to his criminal past, which included his felonies and financial fraud, the credit card frauds, the identity theft, and apparently more. In January of this year, 2024, Simon actually filed a case against the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services seeking to overturn the denial of his citizenship application. These documents revealed a complicated history of immigration issues, including multiple deportations and allegations to identity theft to obtain temporary resident status. Now, sources close to the couple insist that Portia's divorce filing has nothing to do with Simon's legal troubles, but you gotta admit that the timing is pretty suspicious. So, here's where my concerns are, right? So, let's look at the timeline of events. Simon came to the States in 82. In 85, his citizenship was denied. He re-entered the country in 86 and overstayed his visa. He was deported for it in 92. But during this time, he also allegedly engaged in identity theft using various aliases to apply for temporary resident status under the Social Agricultural Worker or SAW program. On October 24th, 1988, he submitted his application and it was granted on July 25th of 1991, despite omitting his criminal record and misrepresenting his identity. I don't know how that got through, but whatever. Ironically, his new identity of Guabodia, Guabadia, I'm sorry, helped him become a permanent resident on April 27th of 1992, just 26 days after he had been deported under his other undisclosed identities for overstaying his visa. Again, I don't know how this happened, but we're going to continue. Um, he had arrest for bank and credit card fraud in 87, illegal ve vehicle use in 89, and additional fraud charges in 90 and 91. In 2019, he married Fallon, right, after a five-year relationship. Fallon and Simon announced their divorce after only two years of marriage, and a month later, he's engaged to Portia. 
supposedly Portia, well, according to what we saw on the on the show, even if they weren't friends, they were cordial because we saw Portia going to Fallon's house. And I don't know about you, but I don't just let randoms at my house. So um, now, after two years, Simon and Fallon announced that they're going to get a divorce. A month later, he's engaged to Portia. Now, two years after they've been married, they're getting a divorce. Press pause. So no one is noticing a pattern here with Simon. Guabodia, or whatever his name is, right? Because remember that this is the identity that he used to illegally obtain citizenship, allegedly. So I want to find out about becoming a U.S. citizen, right? According to immigrationhelp.org, there are two types of marriage green cards that you can get. One is an IR1 green card, and you have to be married for over two years to apply. And it can last for up to 10 years, right? The second is a CR1 green card. This one is a conditional green card, and this one is for those who have been married under two years. It's only valid for two years, and after the two years is up, you can renew it and get a 10-year card. So... This really makes me question this whole only married for two years thing with Simon, right? It makes me start to feel like maybe these marriages were just for convenience. Do y'all really think he married these women just to obtain a green card or to obtain citizenship from his green cards and that neither one of these marriages were really real? Now, that doesn't mean that at some point feelings didn't get involved because we already saw with the who the fuck did I marry that that happened after two weeks. So I'm not saying that Fallon couldn't have developed feelings in this time. But think about how quick Portia got with Simon, right? Got engaged to him and then married him. So watch this. He has to remain married in order to have a marital green card, right? See, I think... He knew he would eventually be found out regarding using an illegal identity to obtain citizenship. And he wanted to be able to cover it up with, but I'm married and still fit the bill for citizenship with his marriage. Because in order to apply for a naturalization that he filed the lawsuit regarding, and naturalization means that you weren't born here, but now you have all of the rights as someone who was. You have to be a lawful permanent resident, meaning have a valid green card and have lived with your spouse for three years after the marriage before you can even file for it. But here's the other thing. You must be able to demonstrate good moral character for at least three years prior to filing the application until the time of naturalization. So wouldn't all this criminal activity actually prevent him from doing that? But also another way to become or get naturalized or have naturalization is you can get it if you've been a lawful resident for five years prior to filing for naturalization, which means that for five years you were in good standing with having your green card, which he hasn't been able to demonstrate with all of these legal matters. So with all of this, it makes me really question the validity of these marriages that happened to end right after the two year mark. And Portia just just made a post, post on Twitter stating that he was her ride or die and she was his piece. And right after that, we get this announcement that she's filing for divorce. I'm wondering, with Real Housewives of Atlanta coming up, if this is all really just a storyline. Because I think it's quite convenient that this is happening right after her announcement of being on the show. And I would hate this to be her only storyline because we've already been there and done that with Kenya. A whole season was devoted to her relationship and marriage. And then every season after that was devoted to her discussing this never ending divorce to her husband. If that's what you want to call him because he never even really looked invested. Which was really sad because as messy as she is, I love me some Kenya more, honey. 
<laughs> but I'm really hoping Portia isn't selling herself to the highest bidder. She's too pretty for that. I really hope she's not. But this is the girl who didn't know what the Underground Railroad was. So who knows? They say everybody has a price. My question is, do you? How much would it take for you to throw wisdom to the wind and go all in? Drop it in the comments and let me know. Confidants, always remember, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Now raise those glasses, clink, and let's drink. Till we meet again. Ta-ta.